Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to show you this soft drink cake. First things first, I'm going to use 250 grams, which is about a block of butter. That can go into our pan, and we need to melt this all down. So I'll just turn up the heat slightly. Now, to help it on its way, we're going to put some cola in there. I want about sort of 175 mils of cola. We can measure this out first so we get the quantities bang on for this cake. And it's actually the cola that reacts with the bicarb soda and the baking powder into here that causes the cake to actually rise. So we pop in 175 mils of that. That can go straight into our pan with our butter. And just slowly melt that down. Don't heat it up too much. Don't allow it to come to the boil. So while that's melting, I can actually add my dry ingredients into our bowl. I'm going to use some self-raising flour. Um, any self-raising flour you can get, that's fine. And I'm going to use about 250 grams of self-raising flour, which is roughly about, about eight to nine ounces of self-raising flour. You can measure that. There we go. And then we need to pop, pop this through a sieve. So we'll bring our sieve onto our bowl. Now, before I pass that through the sieve, I'm going to pop a little bit of bicarb soda in. Now, it wants a good pinch of bicarb soda. Like I said, this reacts with the, the cola and causes the cake to actually rise. It causes it to lift up and gives the cake its nice sort of texture. So pop in a good pinch or about sort of a quarter of a teaspoon of that into there. Now, to colour our cake, we're going to use some cocoa powder. And I want about three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Nice heat tablespoons. There we go. A little bit for extra good look, you know. A little bit of that. And then we just need to pass this through our sieve. So we've got all those nice ingredients together. There we go. They're all mixed together. That's fine. Then I'm going to put some sh caster sugar into here. Now I'm going to use golden caster sugar. You can use normal caster sugar if you if you got it. 300 grams of this, which is about 10 ounces of your sugar, which that's about right. We need to add that to our flour and our cocoa powder. Now this recipe is actually classed as sort of an all-in-one cake mix. So I'm going to mix this together and pop in two medium-sized eggs. We can crack those into there. They can go into our mix. And a little bit of vanilla essence. Now it's entirely up to you. This is purely optional. You don't have to put it in. Just a touch of vanilla essence. Just to give it a nice flavour. There we go. That can go in. Now I need 250 mils of milk. This instantly cools down that mixture. Because if we were to add that straight away to our cake mix, it would react with it too quickly cause it to rise and before we get it into the oven the cake's starting to collapse again. But I've actually prepared a cake tin exactly the same as before. This is about a nine inch cake tin, spring form cake tin. It's totally non-stick and then we can start incorporating all the ingredients. Now it's actually easier to use a whisk to be honest at this point. So we can then take our spoon out. The reason being we need to get these ingredients quickly as possible mixed up. We pop about sort of half the mixture in. There we go. We can start to mix this all together now. If we put too much mixture in, it would then mix with the flour and go lumpy. So mix it all together first to create a batter, like that. And then at this point, we can start adding just the rest of the ingredients, like that. That's the soil texture that you want, not too sort of thick. And then we can pour this mixture straight into your tin. You can actually see it. If you get right in close, you can actually see the bubbles starting to react with that soft drink, and it actually starts to react and starts to cook and causes the cake mix to rise. So this needs to go straight in, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, about 180 degrees centigrade, and this will take about 40 minutes. I'm going to pop this in the bottom oven, again middle shelf. We leave that till it's nice and set on the top. So while that's cooking, we can create our glaze for our soft drink cake. Now to do that, we want sort of about 100 grams of butter. Pop that into there, like that. And then I'm going to actually put all my dry ingredients in there first. So we want to add some icing sugar. Again, there's quite a lot of icing sugar for this, about 200 grams of icing sugar, which is about six ounces, but it'll dissolve into our liquid mixture and create a lovely glaze for our cake. And we we'll pop that straight into our bowl. There we go. And obviously to give color to that, I'm just going to put in some cocoa powder want two tablespoons of cocoa powder, like that. And then so we've got similar flavours running throughout our cake, we can pop in 
about two tablespoons of this sort of cola into our butter. Pop that into there. Now we're going to whisk this all together so our butter's now melted. So incorporate all those two ingredients like that. Don't allow it to get too hot. There we go. You add a little bit first to get a paste, which is what we're looking for there. You can see as I'm mixing it, it's getting thicker. As it gets thicker, we get rid of all the lumps of our icing. There we go. Really give it a good mix up. So you've got this lovely sour glaze there. So I'm just going to leave that to one side. I've got my cola cake now. It's taking it out of the oven. Just allow it to cool right down. And we can finish this off with our icing. Now bringing that across, then we can spread this all over the top of your cake like that. Just spread this all over the surface. It creates like this lovely sort of chocolatey fudge topping.